first things first, we want to go ahead and give these two common denominators, right? So what is the largest number that both of these can go into evenly? Or the smallest number that both of these can go into evenly? The smallest number that both of these numbers can go into evenly is 15. So our common denominator here is 15. We find the, the common denominator because we want to go ahead and add these fractions together. So both of them are over 15 right now. Okay, what did I do to turn this 3 into 15? I multiplied this 3 by something to get 15. What did I multiply it by? I multiplied it by 5. So I did 3 times 5, okay? And what I do to the top, I must do to the bottom. So then I'm going to multiply my top times 5, okay? 1 times 5 then gives me what? 1 times 5 is 5. So 5 or 15 is the same thing as 1 third. Now let's go over here and do the same thing. How do I get this 5 to a 15? Well, I had to multiply this 5 by something to get 15. What did I multiply it by? I multiplied it by 3. So what I do to one side, I must do to the other. So this times 3 gives me 15. And 3 times 3 gives me what? 9. Good. So now I have 9 over 15. Now I can add these two together, right? So now this gives us 5 plus 9. 9 plus 5 is 14. Over 15. Okay, so now we have our fraction of what, <clears throat> we have our fraction because we want to know how much he spent, um, how much did he have left over? Or we want to know how much he spent. Um, if he has $36 left over, we want to know how much he spent on the sweater. So we know that we have 14 over 15, yes? Now, let's go ahead and add a new board. Okay. Well, no, let's go back to this board. So now we have 36, right? That's how much we have left over. And we want to add that to 14 fifteenths. Yes. So now we go over here to board number two. And we're going to do 14 fifteenths plus what? 36? Yes, 36. And 36 was how much he had left over. So right now we're just going to put it over one, but we got to do the same thing that we did on this side as we did here, how we had to find the common denominator. You have to do the same thing on this side. So you want to find your common denominator of 15 and 1. And both of those can go into 15. So we're going to go ahead and put this one here. So we're just going to do the bottom by 15 and the top by 15. I may run out of time, so you may have to do the rest of it, okay? But you got to multiply your top and your bottom by 15. After you do that, you may add them. After you add them, it is going to tell you how much is left or how much money you started with, okay? And then you're going to simplify your answer. Yes? Good. So then you're going to add this whole top. Your denominator will stay the same because you're adding fractions, okay?